Wow, cracking that bag, getting ready for it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I had to stretch. <laughs> Got to do some workouts, do some push-ups and some squats. Yep. <laughs> squats are the best. Do many squats. Soldier, soldier squats? Soldier squats. <laughs> That's how you get the wig. <laughs> All right, everybody. Tim and James here. We're going to start our holiday game this year. Hey, it's the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. And it's snowing. Why is this crying blood? Yeah, she's crying blood. Something bad's going to happen. Uh-oh. Something bad did happen. The police are coming. Yep, we got rats. I will warn you guys, this, yeah, I was just about oh. to say that. This game is extremely gory. Yes, it's a holiday game. <laughs> we got jets flying around, buildings exploding. Yeah. Got some museum dinosaurs. Museum dinosaurs? Yep. They're not fossils at all. Nope. <laughs> museum dinosaurs. And we got this green cell thing. And then she's like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> she don't even know. <laughs> Who is this chick? Tell her to be quiet. So this is our let's play. We can talk if we want to. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> don't tell us what to do. Horses on fire. What is going on? Big S giant masses and more planes. <laughs> This game is crazy! And, and boats. More explosions. <laughs> you want explosions? Come to the right place. <laughs> look, look at that explosion. It's like an action movie. <laughs> Just explosions everywhere. <laughs> the worst foe lies within thyself. It's thyself. That's a Y, not an E. <laughs> I should just edit in an E, a Y instead of an E. <laughs> yes, this is Parasite Eve. P E, not P T. P -E. Not P T. P T was actually scary. <laughs> X game, huh? Oh shit! Hold on. Analog not work. Yeah, this game. I think, I believe it came out before the analog. So analog doesn't work on this game. <laughs> yeah, this game came out back in 98. EX game is new game plus, but we're not going to do that. Just going to start a brand new game here. This game came out back in 98. I think it was... It's made by the same people who make Final Fantasy Square Enix. If you notice the trend on this channel, I think we're playing a lot of Square games. Yep. This is before the merge of Square Enix. This is still Square. Square soft. So. Yeah, so it's an older game. Um, it combines RPG elements of Final Fantasy and horror elements. It kind of reminds me of like a mix between Final Fantasy and Resident Evil. So this would be a nice change. So, yeah, I know you've been doing a lot of uh, RPGs. Mm-hmm. I also did Resident Evil for the channel, too. Yep. So. One and remake. Something unique that we're going to do on this channel is this game is actually, I'm going to upload the parts. Because this game takes place over a six day period over Christmas into New Year's Eve. Over the course of six days. And I'm going to block out each day on the actual days of these events that happen. So like the first day happened on Christmas Eve. So the first day is going to be uploading on Christmas Eve this year. Okay, so this would be our Christmas Eve episode. Yeah. I hope everybody's having a great Christmas Eve. Yeah. You know, you don't really do anything special on Christmas Eve, really, but... No, we normally do. We usually eat on Christmas Eve. Christmas Day is when we don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this being an older game, there's no, um... No voice acting. Vo no voice acting. So we got this girl here. She's on a date. Tune Opera. Oh, one cool thing about this game. Ea Brea, NYPD officer. 25 years old. Okay. But, um, this game takes place in New York. And it's actual, like, locations from New York. 
So where we're at right now is Carnegie Hall, which is really cool. Yeah. We're not changing names. We don't change names unless we're playing Zelda. If yep. we play Zelda, then we'll change names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're at Carnegie Hall right now, which is a real place in New York. If Of course, people probably know that because Carnegie yeah. Hall is pretty popular. <laughs> I've never been anywhere like near New York, really, but a lot of places are pretty famous there. Yeah. I think all the landmarks we go to on this game are pretty famous, so... Alright, let's go in. Another cool thing about this is... I don't know anybody out there has um, played Final Fantasy VIII before. It actually uses the exact same graphics of Final Fantasy VIII. It's the exact same I, engine. Yeah, I, I can see the similarities. Yeah. So I'm guessing they came out about the same time then? I believe so. Boom, boom, boom. So now we're at a date at the opera. Why the opera of all places? It's funny because this is like a first date between these two. And they're just like, let's go to the opera. <laughs> no, I for one... <laughs> On first dates, I would usually go to a place where I could talk to the girl and get to know her. Yep. Instead of being like, let's go someplace where we don't talk at all and just watch <laughs> something. That never made sense to me. Nope. Even like going to a movie. It just... I mean, like watching a movie at home maybe? Because you could still talk? But in a movie theater? people, Some people around you would get mad. Oh yeah. Everybody's trying to read it. Oh, or read it. Watch it. <laughs> read it? They're trying, to, they're trying to read the movie. They're trying to read it with their eyes. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you go to like a foreign film. Yeah. I've never actually went to a foreign film. I've seen like um, movies and stuff in Japanese where they have subtitles. Mm, never really interests me much because when it comes to like reading something. I'd rather read a book than a show. You don't even read! Nope. <laughs> Get that crap out of here! When was the last time you read a book? Um... About and that long? School books don't... Or textbooks don't count. <laughs> I think it was back in like second grade when I got the award for reading for 12 hours. <laughs> Oh, we got a cutscene going on here. Uh oh. Something's going down. She's singing. Oh, what? hi. How are you doing? She's picking us right up, right out of the crowd, huh? Her eyes are changing color. Whoa. Um, okay. Everybody is just spontaneously combusting and falling into the crowd. Wow. I think Carnegie Hall is burning down. Spontaneous combustion. That guy's just like, oh, cool! Fire! <laughs> My hand's on fire. This is so cool! And, and the rest of his body catches. <laughs> and then he freaks out. <laughs> People falling from the rooftop. That's a rooftop? There he was on the roof? <laughs> yep. I'm pretty sure it was a balcony. <laughs> no, he was falling from space. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> Roofs and balconies, those are the same thing. <laughs> Whatever. It's close enough to the roof. <laughs> Jeez. Was he, she holding up her fucking date? <laughs> Looks like it. Jesus, I don't wanna, oh my god, I, I. Get out of here, now. <laughs> Damn. Damn. That's so great. Body checking people. Okay, I gotta get used to not using the analog stick. Because, <laughs> I mean, I did play this recently, like, last summer I played through it. But, <laughs> I still am not used to not using the analog stick. Well, we've gone so long with them now, with analog sticks. <laughs> mm -hmm. This bitch floating? Yeah. Yeah, that is weird, huh? A is the only one that's fine? What? Yeah. What's going on? Awakening. 
that. What are you talking about? The cells are trying to communicate, huh? What, like prison cells? Because I am a police officer. They're calling out. No, she means your, your cells. Don't worry, guys. Uh oh I'm not that dumb. Battle. Do your beam of death! So yeah, just like a normal role-playing game, your active time bar in the upper left-hand corner will fill up. When it fills up, you can attack, shoot your gun. Yeah. Um, now I get magic, because apparently my cells awaken. Her body's getting hot. She's just gloating, like, I am so hot. <laughs> she already, she knows it. She knows herself? Yeah, yeah so, the first spell she gains access to is heal one. Beam of death. So oh yeah, so it's pretty cool because it's it's like it's active, so I can like dodge attacks and everything. This cone right here is your range. That's how far you can shoot. Of course, the closer you are, the more likely you are to a critical hit. Critical hits will come up with yellow numbers instead of white. Beam of death. And it looks like you got two shots for each attack. Yeah. And you do have to be careful as well. You do have a um, stock of bullets. Like, I only have seven bullets left. But of course, there's a critical. Of course, this battle's not going to take all my bullets away. Yeah. Bodies are communicating with each other? What the hell does that mean? Yep. This chick's crazy. More you'll become like me. Whoa, hey! Do I get floaty powers? Because if that's the case, and a beam of death. Floaty powers and Eve. Oh, her name's Eve, huh? Interesting. As this takes place on Christmas Eve, okay. Oh, what is this? Like a like a flashback or a Looks dream? Like it. Okay. What? What is go. this? It's blood. <laughs> Hope this is not Chris's blood. <laughs> oh, sorry. Wrong game. Sorry, guys. We just got done with Resident Evil, so I'm just like, huh. That was a few weeks ago, actually. Like, two months ago. That was October. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Floating away. I'm not going to follow her. She can do what she wants. I'm getting out of here. We, need, we might need some backup. Oh, wait, never mind. You just reminded me when you said backup. I, nothing's going to happen if I go back yet. <laughs> Hold on. Let's go behind this the stage here. Go backstage. Can we go to the green room? Oh, there's oh. a hole. Yeah. I know she's down there. Oh. Yeah, there's my backup. When did she call for backup? Oh, wait, no, because something big happened. I'm assuming somebody called the police, right? She didn't have to. One, at least one of those people running out was probably smart enough. So now, let's go back out and we will talk to my backup. You don't have to talk to your backup if you don't want to. But it's a very good idea to do so. I'll show you when I get there. If she can run faster... I know, she's in heels. She shouldn't even be running this fast in heels, I wouldn't think. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Unless she's had practice. Oh, she's a police officer, so maybe. There's a lot of burnt-up bodies. Yeah, right? <laughs> hey, guys. What are you pointing at me for? Hey! Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> I'm a police officer. Let me just pull it out of my cleavage. Then I pulled out my gun! <laughs> hey there would you give me stuff spontaneous combustion Psh, <laughs> that doesn't happen oh yeah he just heals you but you shouldn't have gotten any injuries anyway because that beam of death is really slow yeah. <laughs> but this guy six ammo six ammo six ammo Giving you a 
I love it. Hey, I've it. got the same gun. I've got bullets if you want. <laughs> I love it because he's just like, I'm willing to give you all of my bullets. Sorry, but I'm out. I can't give you the ones in my gun. <laughs> yeah, the guy's just like, eh, whatever. I'll give you all my, all my bullets. I don't need them. So yeah, so now I've got... Oh, not that way. 60 bullets, and then what's in my gun? Oh, by the way, it's just like Resident Evil, it's a good idea to... Oh, wait, no, I have to do it this way. Yep. Reload. It's always a good idea to reload in between battles. Because if you reload in battle, you're going to be vulnerable and open. Yep. So. So now let's go pursue this lady called Eve. And see what the hell she wants. Floaty name. Floaty lady name Eve. Yeah, floaty lady. I wish I had those powers. I could just float back there and then, like, fast traveling. Then I wouldn't have to, like, well, run she, in she heels. She did say you were like her, so... I know, right? Why yeah, can't it just happen now? Exactly. Maybe you can get floaty powers. Float around everywhere. Floaty powers! Maybe I should just go to the store and get some floaties. <laughs> just go to, like, um... Um, Walmart or something. And just float away. Why is there a little girl down here? You should probably go home. Yeah. What the hell? Is that the little girl from the dream? Yeah, and she was laughing at you as she runs into the nothing. Okay. Alright. Can hmm. be what? Tell me, Ea! You can't let us know? I guess not. Okay. Let's go in here. Nope, it's locked. Nope. Everywhere is locked. What about this room? Locked. All of them are locked. Jeez. Yeah, like Resident Evil, we have to find keys and stuff, so. <laughs> uh oh. What do we got going on here? Uh oh. It's just a rat. A rat that's it's howling. A, but it's a New York rat. You don't want to deal with those. Whoa. Its cells are expanding. Uh-oh. That, that can't be good. Yeah, look away if you don't want to see gross things. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but it just looks so cool, though. What is that? Is it peeing there? It looked like it was peeing. Might have been. No, the coloration of the blood on this game is weird. It's not red. Which seems kind of odd to me. I don't know if they did that to get past sensors or something. Yeah, By the I... way, person triangle, you can go on your menu. You can use items. Your PE is your magic. Parasite energy, by the way. That's what yep. PE means. Change. You can change weapons and armor. We'll get into changing armor later, because that's something we're probably going to end up doing a lot. And I'll show you why later on, when it's more important. Ah! Oh, good. Actually avoided that. I didn't think I would. Bitch! Took out that rat. More ammo. <laughs> why would a rat have ammo? I don't know. Get that crap out of here. Yeah, what what is going on here? But if we find Eve, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we gotta find Eve. What's in here? But well, we gotta search everywhere. It's a role playing game, James. Yep. You guys are dead too. Yep. You're dead, Jim. Yep. We can open the lockers. Every one of them. Hey, medicine. And sometimes there's goodies. So it's good to check lockers. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoa. Hey. You're still alive? Yeah, let me call the paramedics. We'll get you to the hospital. Yeah, they're just right outside. Melissa? Who, who's Melissa? Monster. What? But she told us her name was Eve. Yeah, I'm confused. Does she have two names now? 
What is going on? Confused. I love how, um, this, I guess it's an actress, it's a girl. I love how she died with, she was like flexing, like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta make sure I go out in style and flex all my muscles. Alright, what do we got over here? Oh, a clown? What the hell? Shoot his ass! He's a clown! Yeah! Huh. I'm a police officer, dumbass. <laughs> You're the one that scared me. Only staff are allowed in here. I'm a fucking police officer! Are you kidding me? Tell Why? me to leave. Why do you think she came into the room guns drawn? <laughs> yeah, get out of here. I told you to get out of here already. Oh, oh you're oh, dumb. Oh. He went the wrong way. Yep, you're dumb. Let's search all the lockers. Hopefully this goodies. Ooh, ammo. By the way, as I said before, you have to watch your ammo because you can um, run out of it. And that would suck. But... This game gives you so much ammo that if you actually look around for things, you should never run out of it. Ever. If you do, then you're not searching around very well, to be honest with you. So This isn't, this isn't uh, Resident Evil. <laughs> or you can run out of bullets at any time. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, hey. Buddies! You get around them without going back out the door. <laughs> There's a secret item back here. You can barely see that chest. Yep. It's just some medicine. Oh, by the way, yeah, I should probably talk about that. Um, In the lower right-hand corner of the items, it says 8 out of 10. Yep. You have limited space, like Resident Evil. So I only can hold 10 things. But the cool thing is, I can drop something in a chest... Like, let's just drop the medicine. And it'll just always be there if I, would, if I need it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So if you run out of items, that's a good way to do it. And that item capacity does go up as you level up. Um, come on. Thank you. Yeah, I, I was going to say, you can, you can check the phone. I love the save points in this game. Because it actually has meaning. Like, I'm going to call the department and tell them what's happened. And that's how you save. Like, I'm going to call the police station. It's like you're giving them a, your status report. Yeah, it's really cool. We'll go down here. Oh, wow, you got two beat files. Yes, I do. <laughs> Looks like one's almost done. <laughs> well, that one's a clear data. This one is actually at the end of the game. Yeah. I probably shouldn't be showing that off. Yes, there's six days to this. I already said there's six days anyway, so. Yep. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Psh. What's in this big door? Oh. Oh. Okay. So, we did, got... I, did I pick up the key? Didn't the guy have one in his hand? Which one? The guy in the phone room. Oh, you're probably right. I'm the one that's not searching around everywhere. <laughs> How did I forget about that? Yeah. There we go. Theater. <laughs> now the thing that sucks about the keys, they do take up a space. There's yeah. no key... Like in most role-playing games, there's a key item slot. So it doesn't take up space. But the keys do. It's like Resident Evil, so... You gotta watch out. Um, which door is it that was locked? Is it this one? Yeah. There's a lot of them that are locked. <laughs> the other side was the clown. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this room. Oh, I actually got on the first try. Do you know how hard it is to open this stupid closet? You have to be on the exact pixel in order to open it. Yep. Oh, what do we got here? Camera changed, so there's something here. A diary? What diary could it be? Oh, November 3rd, Monday. So a month ago. The Christmas show is set. This has been my dream. 
The main actress has a solo concert at the theater in Central Park. I took all the medication to get it. I took all that medication to get here. I have to get the lead part. Medication? What medication? What are you... Wow. I'll even sell my soul to the devil if I have to. You really wow. want this part? Holy crap. <laughs> wow. It's deep. The cast was announced, and Suzanne and I are double cast. I want to play the part alone, but everyone knows she's good. Well, if there's two main leads, then, I mean, why... Okay, whatever. Forget it. I don't know much about plays or anything either, so... <laughs> I think I'm overdoing it. My body's getting hotter. Wow! Just <laughs> gloating about this. I'm... Okay, whatever. I better take more medication. I have to get uglier. Psh, have to. Yep. Or else I won't get the lead. I collapsed today. Well, you're oh, taking oh. like 50 fucking... Yep. I lost consciousness after my body got hot. I don't care if I die. I just want to get through this show. Holy shit. Wow. I passed out again. Dot, dot, dot. They told me to go to the doctor and get some rest. If I if this continues, Suzanne will definitely get my part. I need to get better. I'd better take a lot of medication that I... I'm pretty sure that's your problem! Yep. Stop taking this medication! <laughs> Suzanne was burned in an apartment fire. Whoa. Wow, okay. <laughs> Is it Eve? Is that who did that? Maybe. Is it because I wanted that part so bad? God, forgive me. It looks like I'll be the lead. Well, I mean, at this point... The other lead is burned. <laughs> I'd better take more medication and work it. What the oh hell is God. up with this chick? Opening night, everyone, everything went smoothly. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. We should have the biggest crowd of the season. And I have a solo concert the next day at the park. But I'm not feeling well. I'd better shape up if I want to get through this. I better take more medication. <sighs> Jesus Christ. For what? Why is she taking so much? She must have a drug problem. Yep. Hey, another key! Yes! Sweet. Now I can get in the rehearsal room. Well, there's still doors back here that are still... That I can unlock with the other key, so... Yep. 